well, fellow travellers, and well met. Come nay and sit a while. Hark, open your eyes and look upon my tale. <laughs> Over yonder sits a fine, noble fellow, and recorder of mine investigations, dear Sir Mike. Introduce oneself, dear Sir Mike. Verily, I doth say. Get on with it. <laughs> Don't worry, viewers. <laughs> it's only me. Aggravating Kestrel. Hey, Mike, before we go on, did you see on FB, remember those uh, little blighters that nicked my hat? They've been sending us ransom notes. So they sent us these photos, and here you could see it's on a, some kind of dog, uh, maybe a chihuahua. And then they sent a photo of it next to a dog's doings. This was too graphic to show. And there was a sign that said, send us £100 or the hat goes in the shit. That's ridiculous. There's no way that you would pay that. Well, you know, Tell me you haven't paid that. Well, it's got sentimental value, that hat, mate. Oh, 100 quid, though. You could have got 100 of those hats for 100 quid. Now, some of you may remember, last summer I was trapped in a really horrible realm of constant agonising screams for, for about three months. Now, I've been doing some research and investigating on the internet and I came across this website for Lance a lot the wizard right so this is his website and I mean a list of A-list celebrities oh there's, there's some big Hollywood names on here Mike Vanessa Feltz Paul Ross Paul Ross THE Paul Ross Trisha uh, Gino De Campo, ETC. Uh, we see, see that there's astral projection, potion crafting, uh, practiced in the dark arts of voodoo, necromancy, and uh, oh, yoga like like your wife used to do, Mike. Yeah. Now I've made an appointment to visit Lance a lot. I've been given the guarantee that if he isn't satisfied with the results of my session, I can have my full money back. That's brilliant. Yeah. How much has it cost? Well, I haven't paid him yet. <laughs> Alright, how much will it cost? Ah, future man, let us not concern ourselves with uh, material wealth. <laughs> I'm just concerned as to where you're going to get the money to pay the rent. Well, I wish I did never late paying his rent. On with the investigation! On! On! Come on, let's crack on. Kestrel investigates. Wizards are cool, man. I can't wait. Hey, remember when we used to play Hero Quest? I was always the wizard. Uh, you were always the the the, the bodybuilder, the, the the librarian. Barbarian. What? What's with your food, man? It's taking ages. I don't know. You'd think that a plain burger would take less time to make, if anything. Yeah. Hey, you know, I've been thinking. Whoever you pick to play in a game, I think that's a reflection of your true personality. You know, you're manly and you like books, that's why you picked the librarian. <laughs> and I picked the wizard because I'm, you know, I'm a... Um... A funny? No, I'm, I'm on a different wavelength. I'm special. I can't, I can't tell if you've got a high opinion of yourself or a low opinion of yourself. Who do you play Monopoly? We're testing your theory. Um, top hat. No, 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 you're going to have to pick something else, it doesn't work. Well, I, I'm going to have to change my choice to fit with your theory. Please, uh, but you can't pick the Yorkshire Terrier, <laughs> that's mine, because I'm small, I'm from Yorkshire, and I never shy away from a fight. <laughs> well, a few things there, I mean, you're not that small, um, it's not a Yorkshire Terrier anyway, it's just... Look, I'm going to go and see what's taking them so long. Oh. Uh, BRB. Got it. Last oh heck. Bloody hell. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. Just uh, oh man. It's got stuff all over it. I can't have that. Go complain, take it back. I can't. What, what if they shout at me? I don't like confrontation, Mike. <laughs> Just like a Yorkshire Terrier. Can you do it? No, I mean. Well, at least pass me my fries. Come on, they're in the back. These are mine. You didn't get any. No, they're in the back. Well... They're, they're mine. Well, I'm eating yours. I'm just finishing mine now. What am I going to eat? I don't know. 
Oh, some pillows. Hurry up, we've got to go. So this is the famous Hogwarts. No, Mike, this is where Lancelot lives. I know, I was making a joke. He's a wizard and stuff. That's a nice tune, isn't it? What is it, the monsters or something? The monsters? Oh, it's a nice tune. What is it, Mike? <laughs> hey, Chance to get to the door, weren't you? <laughs> Jesus! Sorry, I was just trying to guess what your uh, doorbell tune was, that's all. Well, you must be Agrain Kestrel. Yes, I am. That's incredible! How did you know? Well, I've seen your YouTube thing and you made an appointment. Are you a subscriber? No. Not my cup of tea, really. Funny. of this room. Where is he? You stay here and I'll fetch my master. Yeah. Okay then. What a creepy little fella. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Check out the table of terror. Oh. Careful man. I bumped into the table. It's probably worth more than you. Whoa. What? Look at this picture. It looks Identical to you when you were young. <laughs> nah, you hadn't even got glasses. I'll be damned. Oh. Oh. Is that your stomach? Yeah, well, well, I'm starving, aren't I? All I've had to eat was that one soft polo I found in your glove compartment. Stop moaning. You should have just got uh, something more to eat from McDonald's or something. Mm. Oh. Nice view, though. I'll give him that. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. What? Have you seen this picture, guys? What now? Seriously, man, what? you can't tell me that one doesn't look like you. Oh, come on. What? Have you seen the name? What? It's not even spelled correctly. Sir Arthur Kestrel. Nothing like me. It looks identical to no. you. No, no, can't accept that. Introducing Sorry. the wizard Lancelot. That's Grand Wizard Lancelot. Oh. <laughs> you, old eagle fell on the floor, cross leg. Oh. Come on, join him, come on. Come on. And there's your card and receipt back. Now that business is over, you've got me for a full hour. And as a bonus today, I'm throwing in this little chappy. A little man? It's a voodoo doll. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I shall guard the doll. Is this that really boring, staticky interview bit at the beginning of every episode before the fun stuff and the running around? Um, yes. So, uh, what, what brings you here, young man? Is it uh, impotence? No. I was on your website. Yes? Well, I read that you can do a regression through hypnotism. Yes. Well, can you do that for me? Yes. Oh. Just pop your card in the machine again and <laughs> we'll sort you right out. For God's sake. 200. And, uh, as a result, I have no memory of where I was for those three months. Mm, that doesn't make me special or anything. I can't remember 1998. Oh, it's just not there. Is that too tight? Yes. Good. Are these really necessary? No talking now. Minion? Master? Fetch me my metronome. Yes. Uh, which one? Don't touch The attitude on that one, since they passed the modern slavery laws. Honestly, it's not cool to use people for free labour now, apparently. <laughs> it's political correctness gone mad. <laughs> Still, Brexit will sort that out. Focus on the rhythmic sound of the metronome. The key to this whole thing is to relax. Just relax. Just relax. Relax. Be calm. Relax! 
I see you're a little bit tense about this thing, and let's, uh, let's get something to sort you out. Minion! Just relax, relax, relax. Minion! Let's try and get some heroin. <laughs> you sure? Really takes the edge off. Fine, suit yourself. If you're offering stuff, I'd go for some Pringles or something. Pringles? Yeah. They're terribly bad for you, you know. But I'm sure I can magic so much. Minion! Yeah. Hmm. Some good service. Thank you very much. Do you want a Pringle, Kez? <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. Hmm. Very nice. Shops on the shambles in York. What? It's not supposed to be funny, you stupid muggle. Don't look like Gandalf. Maybe Radagast. That's that's dandruff, not virtue. And anyway, I'm talking about zero pay, living, involuntary assistance, like Rupert. No wizards use real stuff these days. Yeah, can they use wands? Well, they do wands there too. Wands are for children. I use this. <laughs> Holy shit! Where did you get that from? Uh, nothing, am I? Anyway, it's the next part of the ritual! The cleansing! Come on, everyone up! Wingardium Leviosa! Come on! Fucking move it! Alright, alright! Cold! Oh god! This never happens when I go places with Roger. Tell you what, it's tennis court. Yeah. I must say, you've got a really beautiful garden, Mr. Atlot. Yes, it's very nice. Yeah. Annie Lennox used to live here, you know? Come on! Come on! Right, this is how the game works. I'm going to release you into the wild, and then I'm going to hunt you down, find you, and cleanse you. Right. And uh, by cleanse you mean kill? Yes. How will that cleanse us exactly? Well, if the shot doesn't enter your body, then the gods have spared you and you're therefore cleansed. And if it does hit us? Then you're therefore cleansed also. All oh, right, so it's like Russian roulette. Exactly! <laughs> Except I've got a fully loaded gun and I'm going to be safe at all times. Don't think about going too far either. Oh. Okay then! Ten, nine, oh, eight, well. seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to get back to the car. 
Where did you park? Right outside his house. Not that way. Where the hell is he now? We've been out here for ten minutes. I've got to get the dog, we've got to get to the car. I don't know, but how? I don't know, he... Oh, shit, I can hear him. Here. Right, you've got to run. Right, do this. Yeah. So hungry, yeah? Starving! Come on, please, give me! Fetch boy! Oh. Reloading, reloading! Wait, wait! Like this, just filming from the side. You know, like Alfred Hitchcock. Now I'm not filming you from the side. Please, I feel half naked. Oh, shave the whole thing off then. I look stupid. <laughs> oh, what a silly man that Lancelot was. I mean, I'd met real wizards before. I met Paul Daniels, and a nicer man you couldn't hope to meet. And that Lancelot was nowhere near Paul Daniels' league. Nowhere near. Oh, I'm telling you. Well, that's the last time I go for a hypnotic regression session. Yeah, is that what that was, was it? God knows. Yeah, but it wasn't all bad news. I mean, at least I was able to get something to eat on the way back. Uh, we stopped up at uh, Little Chef, and although, Mike, you found a fingernail at the bottom of your bowl of chips, didn't you? Yeah. Could have been worse. I mean, your friend found a poo in a pint glass once, didn't he? Yep, it was glass collecting. It was, he said it was sticking out like a flake. Oh, terrifying. As for Lancelot, well, we haven't heard much from him since the uh, initial 40 or 50 emails demanding compensation for the death of Rupert, his minion. <laughs> we just uh, moved them to my junk folder, though. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. yeah. Although, you don't think that we should maybe call the police? What? Oh, they'd never believe us. Well, I mean, we didn't have to. We've got video footage of him. Yes, and I had video footage of that alien in Little. They didn't believe me then, did they? <laughs> That's because it was a midget. Yeah, well, whatever. You see what you want to see, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mike, have you still got that uh, doll that you made of me? Um, yeah. Well, this, this little yeah. guy. Come on, give me it. Give me it. What, you want this doll, yes. do Yes. Well, why are you shaking your head, then? No, give me it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh, Kez. Do you want to make me a cup of tea? No, I don't. Yeah, you... No, stop, stop, stop it! Head, then. Ah, my neck just cracked. Did you hear that? Off you go, then. No! Oh, stop it! <laughs> no! Oh.